Hello folks, and welcome to the Late 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 Night Show, Seriously It's 2am, with Zachary Smolder. Now, introducing your host, Zachary Smolder. Welcome, welcome to the Late, Late, Late Night Show. Seriously, it is 2 a.m. with Zachary Smolder. I am your host, Zachary Smolder, and as always, it is great to be back. We have a fantastic show lined up for you tonight, but first, our first story. What's the deal with pigs in this country? I mean, seriously, they are farmed beyond belief, so why would anyone give a pork chop? <laughs> No, but seriously, the way that we treat pigs in this country is horrible and inhumane. Moving on, it has recently just been declared in the news that the U.S. government has considered forks to be illegal. That's right, only spoons and knives will be used going forward. So that means that if you do indeed use a fork, you will be criminally prosecuted as well as arrested. That's some pretty, uh, forked up news, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? For our main story tonight, we will be talking about art, something that as many of you probably know, comes in many different forms as well as processes. Now, one man has been able to take an entirely new spin on art, creating his entirely own different process that is both fast as well as incredibly automatic. We are talking about, of course, Zachary Smolder, who is with us tonight. Would everyone please give him a warm round of applause as he comes onto the stage. Zach, would you please come onto the stage? Zach, thanks so much for coming. Pleasure is all mine. So we heard that you are doing um, new art? That's right, Zach. When you think about it, gas is used to power everything. It powers our cars, it powers our electricity that we use. What if we used it to power art? What do you mean? Well, I think we should use combustion engines for more things in the future, starting with a paintbrush. So what exactly makes a gas-powered paintbrush necessary? Well, there's, you know, there's there's, well, it's a gas-powered paintbrush. Right, thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. So for our next guest, we'll be having Zachary Smolder performing Take On Me, the song, of course, as a ham bonus. Stay tuned. Why do I watch these? New Sky Chief does one thing when better than any other movie. Show show these are Phillips, three for the money, performance gasoline. The gasoline that stops cool weather stalling. The third pump has signals mid-ethyl gasoline. Stop at Hi. this clean white pump. Today, good mileage. we're going to talk about American oil gas. Company. Hi, how's it going? Let me take you back in time to the year 1858. At this time, a man by the name of Jean Joseph Lenoir has just developed the world's first commercially successful combustion engine. You gotta understand that at this time, people in society ran their entire worlds off things like coal-fueled boilers which powered other things like steam engines. I know, barbaric. Now upon Jean here giving us the newfound ability to burn clean, clean gas, it opened up a whole new fucking era in the way in which we conduct our lives. In fact, not only that, but it's never affected the environment in any negative way possible. Period. Because gas is clean. In fact, the environment has actually improved since we've begun burning gas. Yeah. Now take transportation, for example. Before gas, people were doing things like they were walking and they were, and they were going outside. And they also took things like trains, which are fine, I guess, if you're a sadistic asshole. I mean, seriously, if every fucking time I want to go to Arby's, I have to go on a goddamn train, I'm gonna fucking drink chlorine. I mean, I gotta wait in line, then I gotta wait for the train to come, then the train's gotta stop at every fucking stop because I can't just go straight to my place. I gotta sit there and wait hours for it to stop at every fucking stop. I could talk to the conductor, I'm like, conductor, stop the train. But then boom, cars. Cars are the greatest thing on the planet because they give you freedom. You know, if you can afford the gas 
and the repairs and, and you know your second example boats now boats are traditionally powered with gas or fuel what do boats transport besides people that's right shipments shipments equals stuff gas equals power boat to give me stuff now i am a simple man but i like stuff and without gas or oil me get no stuff so oil equals stuff me happy guy now where am i going with this well i just gave you two great examples of what oil has done for the world but what if we were to increase the good that oil does for society even more. I said what if, it's, it's not an actual question. Don't, don't put in my comments an answer. It's a, it's a transition, I'm using what if. So oil has already given us cars and boats. So what would be the next logical step for oil to give us in order to improve our society? That's right, art. Now, oil is already used in art in things like paint. But have artists thought about using oil to improve the actual process of creating art? I think not. Let me visually represent how much artists have thought about using oil to improve the process of creating art. There's nothing here! With oil as an energy source to power a fucking paintbrush, we would change the entire way in which culture is created. It would be for comparison's sake, just like using a robot to feed you spaghetti, or a dog harness to communicate with dogs, or combining a bear with a taco to make a taco bear. It would be fucking genius. Why has no one done that? Someone should do that. So I'm just gonna make a fucking, uh Wow, that was pretty intense. You're probably thinking, what exactly are you going to do to create this gas powered dream? And if you're not thinking that, well, you fucking should be because I'm gonna answer it anyway. In order to create a gas powered paintbrush, I will be taking an old weed whacker and converting it into my own beautiful art making machine. First, I will take the old weed whacker tip and replace it with my own beautiful paintbrush tip. That's that's basically it actually. There's it's really not that complicated. It seemed it seemed more complicated in my head, but it it's it's not. Then I will take a 175 feet paper spool and unfurl it across my yard. Upon doing so, I will rub up the paintbrush and create culture. You know, now that I'm actually explaining it, it doesn't really seem all that revolutionary at all. Nah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Today we are going to be doing another one of my famous live react video live streams where I'm going to find channels on YouTube that I think are really good and cringe and I'm going to live react to them here on Twitch for your enjoyment. But first, some housekeeping guys, please continue to follow and follow please donate to my live stream so that I can continue to do Twitch as my full-time job instead of getting a real one. Furthermore, guys, please, please, please tune in next week for my first pool live stream. That's right. I'll be at a kid's swimming pool for my next live stream with a kid's pizza pool party going on in the background. So please watch that. Without further ado, let's play the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Bzzz 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 sounds like a bee that's having a stroke, so that's pretty great. And you're watching Bill Dan. We got a great video lined up for you tonight, but first, roll the intro. Yeah. Thanks, Dick Sucker 6969 for the 64 bits. I appreciate it. Hey guys, today we're gonna be converting a dusty, old, stinky, ew weed whacker into an art making machine. But first, one thing. I noticed that most of you are not subscribed to the channel. Check out my YouTube statistics. Oops, sorry, that's my credit card. Don't use it. That was a mistake, guys. Seriously, don't use that. Here's the right YouTube statistic I meant to show. Oh, shoot. That's my house address and geographical coordinates. Don't use that, guys. Please, seriously, that was a mistake. Don't look that up. Here's the right YouTube statistic. As you can see, six out of 69 million of you are subscribed, guys. We gotta up that number because the Build That Nation is stronger than this. Let's roll the video. Hey guys, all we gotta do first is we gotta take off this dusty, stinky, old, old weed whacker tip. We gotta screw it right off and then we can put on the new weed whacker tip and we're good. Wow, this guy's so good at screwing. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take- All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the camera right out of focus. Got this dusty little protection thing here because where we're going, we don't need protection. Yow, do you get it? Do you get it? Do you, do you guys get it? Do you guys get it? Now, what are we gonna do with this dusty old protector? I'm glad you asked. 
All right, guys, I just took some expert measurements from the old Weed Whacker, and we're going to pipe them on into CAD right now. Make sure, by the way, to donate to the channel so that you can have access to this CAD model as soon as this video is done being uploaded. And also donate to the channel so that you can have access to other goodies, like pictures I took of complete strangers without them knowing. Yeah. Thanks for the 20 bucks donation, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is watching the stream. All right, guys, it's me. I'm back. I just finished making the CAD model. I just popped that CAD model right on into my 3D printer. By the way, guys, one more thing. Remember to like and subscribe this channel so that I can continue to buy Ferraris and Lambos and make fun of people who can't. Yeah. Want to see the printer? Let's go. Wow, beautiful printer. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, I just finished the 3D print. It is right here. All we got to do now is just assemble the final product and we done. Yow! What the fuck is yow? What the fuck is that? What? All right, guys, I just finished assembling the entire last piece of the paintbrush. Remember to like and subscribe and smash that like button. Yeah, great video. All right, yeah, guys, great. that's all I got for you today. Remember to smash that like button. Tune in next week when I prank a homeless man. Goodbye. Yow. Yeah, altogether, great video. Really, guys, he did a really good job. So please, guys, give him some love. Please, no joking intended here. Um, other than that, guys, please remember to follow me here on Twitch one more time. Just please, please do that. Also, in addition to my next week's pool live stream, I will also be doing another live stream where I will just be streaming myself sleeping. That's right. I will just be sleeping in my bed and you guys can watch that for a full time that I do that for. Thank you. Goodbye. Every great artist, they start from somewhere. And I know that I'm not exactly an artist, but like this is my great beginning. Like from here, people are going to pay like millions of dollars for my paint. It's going to be insane. This is probably going to catch on. That's like a good amount. Let me put a little more gas. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's put this in there. Yeah! Yeah! You getting this? Are you getting this? Let's go! This is how art's meant to be done! This is how it's meant to be done! People have been painting by hand for fucking generations, man. But this is how it's meant to be done, right? This is the goddamn way that the revolution, bro. Okay, let's go. Yeah! Honestly, let's just start pouring the paint like on there. Yeah! Yeah! Right here we have what this is, this is actually a metaphor for French colonialism. Right here you can see uh, in the future, they're probably gonna adopt this as like a mainstream method of creating culture. So they're probably just gonna, you know, make like cartridges. You can just like slap on the brushes so that you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. It's a, it's an understand, you know, you know, the wheel wasn't built in a day. Remember, safety first, all right? Let's paint capitalism, okay? Here we go. Capitalism. Hey, I'm back again. If you liked this video, first of all, thank you. And second of all, there's a lot of people who helped work on it, so I'd like to thank them. My good friend Patrick Flig filmed the last section of this video, and his sister Gabby Flig did the illustration of the Taco Bear, which is pretty fucking epic. 
and therefore thank you to both of them for that. My good friend Ryan Gallagher did the CGI TV moving thing, which was pretty fucking sick, and he's way more talented than me. Links to his YouTube channel is down below. My good friend Ian Harrell, links to his SoundCloud and Spotify is down below. He did all of the music for this video, except for the last song, which is Zelda, but everything else was him. And I gotta be, I, 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 his shit's really fucking good, and he did custom shit for everything, which is like pretty sick. His music's good. He did custom stuff. I like, you know, good guy. Good guy. Subscribe, like, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Goodbye. I think we should submit this to an art gallery. Are you rolling right now?